Hello there, hello, good evening and welcome to the Planet Cruise TV show. My name's Sean, by the way. Um, if you are new to the show, we've been running now 12 years. Uh, every Tuesday we bring you some amazing cruise deals and tonight is no exception. We've got dates for, for this year, but we've also got dates if you're planning ahead for 2021. Uh, talking of 21, are you 21 yet, Glenn? Just missed it. Just missed it. Started, started uh, working abroad when I was 21. It sounds about 24 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> 1980. Oh, wait, this, wait. this is Glenn, by the way, from Planet Cruise. Um, love working with Glenn. And yeah. you spent many years working on the cruise ships, of course, didn't you? Yeah, well, I did 10 years as a rep in Ibiza and um, Magaluf, learning my trade. As they say, I dread to think. God, that, yeah. yeah. Um, and then I joined, yeah, I joined Ocean Village in 2004 and did uh, Ocean Village, Queen Mary, Cunard, PO, PO Australia. I did uh, 11 years nearly at sea. God. And now, of course, been working for Planet Cruise for many years. Five, five and a half years yes. now, yeah. Only, Take... pop, only popped in to drop something off, and that was it. <laughs> <laughs> started working with them. But yeah, it's great. You know, the industry, a lot of changes obviously going on at the moment, but it, it's still a fantastic industry. They're bringing out new ships all the time, new destinations, and yeah. uh, we're still very, very busy, which is good. Well, we've got a great show. So we've got we've got some cruises for, for this year, but also if you're planning ahead, you know, sometimes it's great to, to book your cruise now, save yeah. lots of money and, you know, plan ahead for 2021. Yeah, and again, as I said, if you are booking, you know, for later on in the year or booking for next year as well, you know, low deposits, put the money down. And just the other thing as well, just to make sure people are aware that obviously we're fully abs an atoll uh, bonding, uh, which course. obviously, again, in the present situation, that's something that's on the back of people's minds. And, and when you book with us, you know your money's secured and looked after, which is something just to put people at, at mind at um, ease. Just before we begin, I've got a quick shout out. Simon and Sylvia uh, emailed and messaged me uh, yesterday. They've booked a Morella cruise that they're going on in, uh, I think they said the 29th of March. So Simon and Sylvia, lovely to hear from you uh, yesterday. But yeah, they're looking forward for their Morella cruise. And we've got Morella cruise on tonight, haven't we? We have, yeah. And I've just got a quick call out as well. Just to, one tonight? Yeah, just the one tonight. Oh, I was on oh. last week. I don't get that many. So uh, this is going out to uh, Isabel and Alex. Now, they've booked a little cheeky celebrity cruise down to Australia. They're going up to the There's Barrier Reef. There's hardly a little cruise, by the way. They're it? going up to the Barrier Reef, and uh, we booked her last week, and we were having a chat with her, and she's doing this fantastic cruise up to Bali and, and the Barrier Reef. And then she phoned me back the next morning. She went, I really want to go to New Zealand as well. So we had another look at it, and then she tagged on another cruise. So she's going to do a Royal Caribbean going over to New Zealand. And then once she's done that, she's then going to do a cruise up to the, uh, the Barrier Reef, and she's spending some time down there. So I said I'd say hello. Hi, guys. Hope you're okay. And uh, as I said, that's my call out for the night. Well, yeah. good. that means we can start then. Good. Exactly. Um, because we're going we're gonna to begin with, what are my two favourite words, Glenn? You know by now. Uh, free cruise. <laughs> oh. and there's that, been a few that, that does sound good, but no. <laughs> My favourite words are all inclusive. <laughs> Trouble is now, every time I'm on a cruise and I bump into passengers, they always say I've got a drink. And I've got a drink. <laughs> no, no. They always talk to me about my drinks package and the all inclusive. Well, listen, it's yeah, but it's part it, of it. I mean, everyone it has things that they enjoy in the cruise. Yeah. I must admit, I mean, me and you are partial to the odd uh, glass of vino or something, and I think if you but, can include it, why not? But what I will say is, um, you know, it's not necessarily just about all the alcoholic drinks, but it's about every type of drink. You know, your specialty coffees, generally speaking, yeah. your soft drinks, but this is all inclusive. I'm looking at that price on the screen. It's on the Morella Discovery 2, yeah. and we've got a price. I know my eyes are going, but five... Four, not nine. bad, not bad. That is amazing. I think the thing is, when you do a cruise, again, especially people that haven't done cruises before, they, they read things on the line saying, once you get on board, you've got to pay for this and this. The good thing of this, one of the main things you're going to spend on board the ship is drinks, you know, yeah, whether you have yeah, soft drinks or alcoholic. So when it's included, other people worry about gratuities, oh, what's this gratuities thing? They're all included as well. So you more or less know the only money you've got to spend is when you're in the ports of call. Yeah. It's a nice way of doing it. Um, and some people, and it sounds awful, some people don't even get off the ship much. We well, it's not awful, no. it's, it's your holiday. Decide what you want to do. But the good thing with Morella is they own their own uh, airline, obviously, to eat. Yeah. Um, so we've based it on uh, flights going out of Luton. But, I mean, they fly from Exeter, Sheffield, Manchester, Glasgow. Edinburgh. So if you're sitting at home and think, well, they always talk about London, give the team a call because there's supplements sometimes on some of the flights, but we can find out, and especially with Morella, I'm sure we can fly yeah. you from nearly anywhere in the country. And, and the lead date is for the 6th of May. But we've actually got dates right the way through yep. to October as well. But this is a ship that we've both been on. We both love. Yep, exactly. 
And it is, of course, the Mor Morella Discovery 2. Uh, she's a beautiful ship, isn't yeah, she? Yeah, now, again, I mean, you, you've been a convert over to Morella. I mean, yeah, you did three, three cruises last year with them. And as, as I said, they are British. Now, what they did is they had older ships, uh, which some of them are still, uh, you know, sailing around the, uh, the Med at the moment. But they brought in Discovery 1 and 2. They brought in Explorer 1 and 2. They're not new ships. They're fully refurbished. But these are former Royal Caribbean ships. And you can really tell, actually, from the layout. Yeah, exactly, you? from the layout. They've still got the rock climbing wall on there as well. But again, the nice thing about it being a British cruise line, and the main thing, there's Keith having his free meal, but the main thing you'll find with Morella is the staff and the entertainment. They're two of the biggest things that they've always had. So the staff on board are fantastic. They, they go back time and time again, so they know a lot of the staff, a lot of the clientele that go back. The other thing as well is the entertainment. British cruise ship, as I mentioned, so it's West End style shows. A lot of the ships at the moment are getting away from traditional shows, uh, which is fine, and people love that. But with these ones, people love the entertainment. If you want to go and have your dinner and then go and watch a West End style show and then yeah. go and watch a pianist in the evening or singers in the bars, you'll have that on there for and you. I, and I've got to say, I absolutely love the entertainment with Morella. I really Because yeah. I love Western shows. And I love, you know, the, if they do kind of, if, if it's a night and it's featuring, I don't know, say music from the 60s yeah. or the, the 80s, it's all music you'd know. Yeah, and the good thing with Morella as well, it's got freedom dining. So you can yeah, go and dine whenever you want. So if you want to go and watch the early show, you go and dine a bit earlier. The other two uh, pictures you've just seen there was the Steakhouse and Corolla. So Corolla is the... Um, a Asian like fusion Asian, restaurant it, yeah. and the steakhouse. There's small supplements to dine there, but on a week's cruise, I would definitely dine in yeah. one of those. Uh, there's a small yeah. charge on there, but if not, as I said, all your food, you've got the buffet, you've got the snack shacks at the back where you can just grab a Caesar salad or grab fish and chips. But again, you've got the casino, lost a couple of quid there. Um, and also, as I said, you've got the indoor and the outdoor pool, depending on the weather. So it's a great ship, all included on there for you as well. Honestly, your flights, your transfers, your drinks, your tips. And as I said, look at that leading price. And that big wicker kind of pod that you saw there, that's in an adults-only area at the back of the ship. It's fantastic, I've yeah. got to say. I, I spent many, a, many an afternoon just, just sitting in one of those and, uh, yeah, listening to music and just getting a, a bit of a red glow, because I don't really tan, I just well, go, I no, just glow. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, but price-wise, amazing tonight. We've got an, uh, an exclusive price reduction. This one starts at just 549 on the 6th of May. Let's just talk to where we're going to. So as uh, Glenn said, we, we fly you from the UK and yeah, it's based so we, on, did you say, based London? Based on Newton flights, but again, I'm sure we've got Gatwick going up north, Manchester, Newcastle, Glasgow, Edinburgh. As I said, on our site, you can do a little drop down and it shows you the small supplement on the flights yeah. there as well. Um, but again, it's all packaged. You'll be met at Naples Airport and then taken directly to the ship. From there, we're heading uh, down to Sardinia, over to the island of Sardinia. And there you've got a place called Costa Smeralda. You've also got the Madalena National Park. But a nice opportunity there. Again, all of these ports of call, you can just wander off, do your own thing if you want to, and just chill out, relax. Beautiful part of the world. We then head down into Civitavecchia. Civitavecchia, obviously the gateway going down into Rome. Um, and again, where you dock here in Civitavecchia, Civitavecchia is nice if you want to go into there, but most people tend to make their way into Rome. And again, from here, it's about an hour and a half's drive by the coach. Um, number of places to go and see, of course, Vatican, Sistine Chapel, Colosseum, Trevi Fountain, Pantheon. But again, what I would say with Rome is anything you want to see, say the main thing you want to see is the Vatican, go there first, because yes. you do get the queues, yeah. so you want to get that out of the way. What you don't want to do is your favourite thing, leave it to the end and you haven't got time to do it. And I'll show them a lot of you uh, will do a day in Rome and then go and revisit it back for a longer weekend, because you'll need more time in Rome. We then head down into Livorno. Livorno, you can go over to Siena, which is beautiful, over to Lucca, which are alternative oh, lovely, places yeah. to go and see. And again, Livorno's nice to wander around. A few shops. I would probably get out of Livorno and go a little bit further afield if you could. But again, you've got Ponte Vecchia Bridge there in Florence, which is wonderful to go and see. And of course, if not, you can make your way over to Pisa and of course see the Leaning Tower. And they do do tours where they do Florence and the Leaning Tower combined. And that's what we did when we were on our, uh, out in Livorno with the family. And that sort of ticked all the boxes. We then head over into Toulon. Toulon in France, and from here you can make your way again. You're down near the south of France area, beautiful port area there. You've got lovely harbour, and again, after two busy days, you might just want to chill out and relax there. You can go and do the Royal Tour. They've got some fantastic Gothic style buildings there to have a look around. You've got some beautiful bays to have a look around, and you've also got the cableway at Mont Ferron to go and have a look at, which is quite nice if you wanted to do that. But again, if you're thinking of the south of France, you think of those beautiful promenade yeah. areas with the palm trees, nice cappuccino or a glass of fizz, and just take in the views. Then we go to one of my favourite destinations. We go over into Spain, into Barcelona. Again, very, very popular with the cruise ships. 
Here you've got Park Gwyll, you've got the Sagrada Familia, which is the unfinished cathedral, which you can see there. Again, if you're into football um, and you, you want to go and see the Camp Nou, of course, you're one of the best stadiums in the world. But again, another good way of doing this is just doing the hop-on, hop-off bus for the day, and that will take you all the way around. The ship just actually docks down on this right-hand side here. That's where you go across the bridge to the port area, but that's the start of going up there, up to La Las Ramblas area. And then finally, quite nice, a relaxing, chill-out day at sea, and then back into Naples for your flight home. So, um, beautiful itinerary, but for £549, when we break down what's included, have a look at this. So it's an exclusive offer tonight. Uh, we've got a brand new price reduction on the 6th of May departure, and uh, we've included that in the price show. So it's only £549, it's one of the best deals I've ever seen. It's gotta be actually in the last 12 years. And as Glenn mentioned, it's all inclusive. You get a great section of drinks, you really do, and your tips as well. Uh, flights based on uh, London Luton, but as we said, please give us a call and we can talk through regional flights as well, uh, just for supplement. Now, we've got a big variety of dates as well. So, starting with the 6th of May, but we've got June, July, August, September, right the way through to the 21st of October as well. And you'll notice, you know, the upgrades there to say the outside, just a few pounds. Yeah, you would do it for the week anyway. But even those prices in August are great. July and August, nice time of year to go. Yeah. July would be good if you don't want to go where the kids are still off school. But if you've got the kids, again, give us a call. We can have a look at three and four birth cabins. Going to be limited, but they are available at the moment. And uh, you might even want to look at the junior suites there as well. Very nice. Yes, there they are very go. nice, actually. I'd, I'll be honest, I did have one of those when I took my mum on a Marella cruise. And really nice. Yeah, yeah they're nice. Nice. nice size. So, um, if you want to book that one, don't forget you can give us a call 0808 250 2662. But we're now going to give you the details of this week's early bird saver. <laughs> Now, Glenn, you can actually save a lot of money actually booking a cruise early for, for next year and even you the year can. after, I think, you? I think the industry's changed. I think uh, three or four years ago, people could leave it late, and I don't think that's the case. I think the cruise ships now tend to be full, um, and I think any ships that have really last-minute deals, um, you know... You might not have the, the pick of the cabins, yeah. the itineraries might not be to suit you. So what people are doing now is booking early. And because a lot of the cruise companies now are taking low deposits, it means you can pay a low deposit now, book it, and then what we do, you can pay it off over 12 months if you wanted to. Just pay off a bit of money oh, each great. month, set up a direct debit. If you don't want to do that, you just give us a shout and say, can we pay off some money? And then literally 16 weeks before, we'd ask you for the balance on there. But it means you've got all that time to pay it, and it gives you something to look forward I to. I was going to say, to look forward and to plan it properly as well. Yeah. Um, now, this is with Oceania, um, who I've cruised with uh, twice, actually, now, and they are a wonderful yeah. company. I mean, we are talking... Five star plus, I would say. Yeah, I mean, we, 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 we're probably not right to do it, really, but you put these cruise lines within the star ratings, and this is definitely fast, five star plus or above. We normally have Lou come on board and uh, normally come on the show and talk to us about it. And again, whenever we have an Oceania deal, um, again, literally, um, you know, they sell very, very well. But what they're doing is they're re-inspiring their ships there, uh, regenerating I mean they're beautiful oh, anyway they but they've spent over a hundred million on them and I would have to say that Oceania themselves are almost like a country club on board so everything on board is very uh, relaxed smart casual every evening again if you want things and we'll be coming to those on our next deal things like rock climbing and uh, dodge em cars this is no. definitely not the cruise for you and I would say for that they're, they're, they're more a couple's cruise they're not really yeah, I'd agree. Naughty kids because there isn't kids clubs on board but if you want to have a lovely day in port come back and the only other thing with Oceani is it has the best food at sea. Yeah, I was going to say. Without any shadow of a doubt. And the special restaurants, they're all included, What's your favourite one? Uh, red ginger. Red ginger. Everyone yeah. says that. Yeah. Everyone says that. Now, Oceana themselves have their own uh, cattle ranch over in the States. They have their own uh, fisheries and lobster area over in Maine. So when they bring on their food, it is second to none. And every evening, dining is an experience. Yes, it is. It's never so it's just, never rushed let, up, let's grab know. some food and go no, off no. for the night. No, you sit there. Um, now, one of the ladies that works here, Hayley, one of the presenters, I've sold her a couple of Oceania cruises. First cruise, she never got off the ship, did she? No. Second one, she got off for one afternoon. 
Uh, it would, uh, yeah, she got off once. Well, she couldn't move. She was drinking with lobster. She was having <laughs> champagne and lobster yeah, every honestly, day. The, the, the whole ship experience was so wonderful. Honestly, she did not get off, and that is the absolute truth. And the second time, was, as Glenn just said, she got off once. Um, but you can have the most wonderful time, you know, just on the if ship. You, if you love your food, if yeah. you love your... Um, and very relaxing, we'll say, as and well. And then again, look at the cabins, as I said. They're, they're just the ocean view cabins on there, but you can go up to the uh, concierge verandas. They have different types of balconies, obviously different sizes as well, depending on what you want to make. I mean, every room is done out opulent. It's done like a, uh, a, a boutique uh, hotel on there, and they are stunning, absolutely stunning. The level of service is second to none, but as I said, the food, the level of service, the drinks, everything is wonderful. And I think if you have cruised before, but maybe you're celebrating a, an anniversary or a divorce, and you want to treat yourself, Glenn. and you've got the money in, he's paid the money and you've got it, get yourself out <laughs> on one of these, treat yourself in the Caribbean. <laughs> uh, now you can also see on the screen, you will get free UK airport lounges with this Which is quite well. a nice way to start, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it just kind of sets the tone, sets the scene, doesn't it? Yeah, exactly, it? Yeah. exactly. But the price on there, if you look at the price on there, that is a fantastic price for Oceana, and it so is. we've got a, le a lot of extras, which we'll talk about in a minute. Yeah, you get a lot of extras as well, but it, it, it's the best itinerary, this one. So we're, we're going to fly from the UK, Okay. Over to Barbados. To start we are with. so we've got a one night stay there in Barbados. Now again, if you've if you've never been to Barbados before, why not? It is a wonderful place to visit. Um, but we can extend that. Maybe take it to two or three days if you want to do a little bit longer. But again, we give you the one night stay in Barbados, and then you can experience maybe shoot to the boatyard and have a few drinks in the evening before joining the ship, as I said, or then going out and doing one of the tours. But I would try and extend that a couple of days if you could. Then you're going to embark your deluxe hotel, floating hotel, for your ten day cruise. Now, first day is going to be at sea, so that will get you over the jet lag. You can just relax. Of course, go and eat, eat lobster towels, have champagne, Yo, relax yes. in the sea. And as I said, it will be beautiful. No big queues when you're queuing up for any of the food and, and, and going around the pool area. It's going to be luxury. No, Jim, there's never any crowds, never any queues. No, Oceana. definitely not. Actually, we forgot to mention, actually, the, the, the space per passenger is huge as it well. It is, it yeah. is, yeah. So it's never a crowded ship. But where are we, at, where are we heading well, to? Well, we're then, going like? from six-star luxury to one of the most luxurious islands in the the Caribbean, St. Barts. Now, again, yeah. if you see a lot of the rich and famous in the OK magazines, a lot of them holiday in um, St. Barts. And again, when you go into the main uh, town area there, you've got all your, your famous designer retails there, so you might have to get the credit card out. And the port area there is stunning, all the private yachts. This is what you envisage tropical, beautiful, expensive yeah. Caribbean-like. And again, as I said, St. Bart's is a wonderful place to start. We're then going to one of my favourite destinations, which is Antigua. Now, Antigua's got 365 beaches, one for every day of the year. You've got great catamaran trips there. You can go over, so it's got a big British influence with Nelson's Dockyard. The port area as well, as you go through, there's loads of bars, restaurants and shops as you go through. But I've holidayed in Antigua, they've got great beach areas, and it's one of my favourite destinations anywhere in the world. We then go to the first of our French islands, which is Guadeloupe, and here you can go on to La Sance Bay, you can go to Grand Souffre, which is the volcanic area there. So I would say in Guadeloupe, I wouldn't stay in the town area, I'd get out and about and maybe do one of the tours, and again, local taxi drivers are do there. You've also got excursions as one of the perks on here as well, and maybe take one of the tours. We then go back into the rainforest islands. Now, we're going into Dominica. Now, Dominica is not Dominica Republic. Dominica is a rainforest islands. They've got one road going up, one road going across, and it ain't going to get any better than that. <laughs> now, when you go there, again, you're going up into places like Trafalgar Falls and Emerald Pool. Um, again, if you love Pirates of the Caribbean, when I was there uh, about six, seven years ago at Fort Young Hotel, walked in, started having a drink, and there was Orlando Bloom sitting there with the cast of uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. So that's why I know it was filmed there. Wow. Um, so, again... This is Dominica. Did he, rec is, did he recognize you? He, recon he said, You're not that guy off I do world, I thought, are you? Yeah, he I said hello to yeah. Sean for me. Yeah, 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 yeah of course he did. <laughs> um, but Dominica is a rainforest island, very, very different from somewhere like Antigua, for example. And another good trip to do there, do a thing called the Wacky Rollers, which is the Jeep Safari, and that's a really good chance to do something a bit different there. We then head back into another one of the French islands, which is Martinique, and you've got Mount Pelé there, you've got the Botanical Gardens, and you've also got Salinas Beach. And again, this is another place where I wouldn't probably go into the town area I would go out and about it's quite a mountainous area quite picturesque and I'd get out there to see a bit of Martinique then into I think I always compare Antigua and St Lucia what is people's favorite St Lucia is one of the great 
Caribbean islands. And again, a number of things to do here, but they're the pitons, and I would recommend a trip to see them. Now, whether you do it land or sea, they do do a trip called Land and Sea, which will take you out there. But again, you can go on the catamaran, uh, have a couple of run punches in the afternoon, but they do do the trip over to Sofri, and again, the volcanic area there, which you can do in the morning. But it's a great place to go and see. Um, and as I said, again, another one of my favorite islands. Now, St. Vincent, we started going to a few years ago. And again, the town area of Kingstown, again, I wouldn't spend so much time there. I'd get out and about. Again, this is another place where Pirates of the Caribbean was filmed. The bit where Johnny Depp steps off the boat and then the boat sinks and he steps onto the side, they've still got a little bit of the set there where that's oh, really? actually filmed. So you ah. can take a trip there or you can go over to Beckwe, which is the island there. That's the Grenadines. That's what you'll be catamaran in. And I would say if you can do that, they do a, a boat trip over to Mustique as well. There's limited spaces on there. Go and see where Princess Margaret got up to all her stuff that you may have seen in the crown. But again, <laughs> it's a nice place to see St Vincent, mm. but maybe do one of the water tours there. Then back into Trinidad, Trinidad and Tobago are always twinned and we're going into Trinidad, famous for cricket, I love a cricket down there. But again here, I always play golf over in Trinidad, but you can maybe take more of an island tour. Again, I would do a little bit more colonial, a little bit more history there, and I would definitely do a land tour there if it was me. And then from there, back into Barbados, and that would be your flight home, but that's not a bad uh, itinerary on there for you. Well, we've, um, we've got an amazing deal tonight, actually, because the price on the screen includes so many extras as well. So. You'll get free Wi-Fi, but also you've got a choice of free drinks or $600 on board spend or six shore excursions. So bear in mind, the price will include all of that as well. So your choice of free drinks, $600 on board spend or six shore excursions, and you get the free Wi-Fi there. A one-night hotel stay in Barbados, return flights from the UK and private overseas uh, transfers are included and uh, the cruise deposits have been reduced by 50% uh, for this month as well. So, yeah, so a really nice low deposit. You normally, rate. for the cruise part, normally you would pay a certain percentage. I think it's 20, 25%, but they've reduced it at the moment. So, again, low deposit on that one at the moment to get but that, that, is, that one will sell really quickly. Uh, it's a wonderful yeah, cruise. Really I've not is. tried it before. It's, it's, you're really upscaling on there going to Oceania. They are a, a, a wonderful company, believe me. And uh, what I would say, I mean, the insides are really nice. They, they, they truly are. But if you can stretch to maybe the outside of the deluxe ocean view, the balcony or concierge, then, uh, you know, the, the rooms, are, you know, when you start going to the concierge class, they are magnificent. But they're all lovely. They really are. So uh, thank you to Lou's, but it was that great deal tonight. But it's now time for this week's Hot Pick. <laughs> And this is a, a, a cheeky one that's just come in from MSC and it's for the 22nd of April. So not too long away then. No, so far, no, no, yeah. no, no. Seven, at, eight weeks. Look at the price for 14 nights. Oh, it's 14 nights. I was thinking it was seven. 14 nights. For a balcony? Balcony, yeah. That's £300 a week for balcony? Yeah. yeah. Oh, my word. And that's from Southampton as well. So Southampton, take what you want, you get a free balcony upgrade on that. 14 nights on there, 599 per person times. And it's uh, boom, because that is amazing, isn't it? So the 22nd of April, if you're able to, to, to make that date for a two week cruise with MSC, we are doing a balcony price, a big upgrade tonight. Two weeks for under six months. I don't think I've ever seen that with MSC. No, really good. And as I said, it's a deal. It's a nice, nice ports of call on there for you as well. And uh, you know, if you're fed up with everything going on here, get on a cruise and get yourself out there. Five nine nine for two weeks. Well, the uh, I jot down that ID number, which is one nine six six nine five. Do you know? Honestly, I looked at that earlier, and I just I don't know why, but my brain said that was for a week. We well, normally say anything up to about hundred quid a day for a balcony. Yeah, 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 you so would. Yeah, it for fifty. But it's actually a two week cruise on the twenty second of April. So they just come in. If you want to book that, give us a call this evening or first thing tomorrow morning. What time are you open tomorrow, Glenn? Uh, open till 10 o'clock tonight and then back in at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. I'm not. Yeah, I was going to say you won't be. I'm on a day off tomorrow. No. <laughs> you what? I've got a day off tomorrow. <laughs> I never have days off after the show. It's lovely. You don't. I could have a nice leisurely drive back tonight. <laughs> Up in the morning, watch loose women. That's <laughs> <laughs> what you like. Um, anyway, um, our, our next cruise is, is with uh, Royal Caribbean and it's on board your favourite we ship. We said this was going to be a really easy show tonight, didn't we? We're about three or four minutes over the show anyway. Are we? We're are talking. we behind? We're chat yeah, of course we are. We're always behind. Oh, oh. But this is your favourite ship. My favourite ship, yeah. yeah. Anthem of the Seas. I didn't tell you. So I've been invited on by Royal Caribbean to come and take the family on. I'm taking the family on in June to see it, uh, June or July. 
Um, they've never been on Anthem before. As I said, I was fortunate enough to go on this in 2015 when it launched. Um, as I said, I worked on ships for, for years and I absolutely, it's the only ship I've ever gone that is taking it to the next level. It was one of the first new style Royal Caribbean ships uh, and it is phenomenal. It is a, one of the big ones. I'm so glad it's back over here in Southampton. Um, up to about 4,000 passengers, but they have got things like these virtual balconies, which you can see there. Um, and they are really, really clever. They've got the, the screens on there. So even though it's not a balcony, you can see what's going outside. Cplex was the first one at seas. You've got bumper cars or the roller skates. I also tried that, a little bit of the trapeze. For the kids, loads of stuff on there. They've got floating DJ uh, booths, but this is something no other ship's got, the North Star. So you actually go up there, um, look at the height on there, and amazing, amazing views when wow. you're on there as well. At the back, you've got the famous surfing, which is, of course, what Royal Caribbean is known yeah. for. I've had a go at this um, part. I was, and, I was rubbish. Yeah. I was okay. embarrassing. And again, right next to it, you've got the uh, skydiving. So uh, that's really good. That's the ripcord. And you've got, of course, the, uh, the giraffe, and you've got the rock climbing walls on there. But again, other things on board, you've also got things like the robotic bar, tenders um, but the one thing I really really loved on there I say you've got the pool areas and all that indoor and outdoor pools which is great but they have got a thing at the back there called 270 which is a, a venue at the back of the ship which I think we'll be going to in a minute again restaurants will talk about that in a minute but at the back is 270 so this is a venue where everything moves it's robotic you've got different screens and I mean normally the front of the ship is where the theatre is this 270 at the back is like nothing I've ever seen before. So that's the viewing during the day, and obviously you can sit there and have a drink and chill out, but this is what it's like at night, and it all comes to life. Oh. And I've never seen anything like it. So we were fortunate enough to see that, and it is phenomenal. So there's so much to see on there. Now, they've also got We Will Rock You. Now, when I went to see We Will Rock You, I'm used to a show being about 45 minutes. It was two hours. It's so a it's full, a full West End the full version. full West End production on there as well. When I was on it, Curly Watts was on there from uh, Coronation Street. He was one of the cast members. Really? There. He he was on there. Um, so and, I'm thinking, and I'm sitting there about Isle of Quarter in going, is, this, is, okay. this is a long show, isn't it? It's the longest show I've ever seen, but it's a full West it's End a, production. Yeah. And what would you pay for that, you know, yeah. if you were to go to the West End? Exactly. So. But I say the whole ship's got everything going on. The restaurants are phenomenal on board, and look at the price. Well, the price tonight is under £640. And it's and half term week. And it's half term week, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so even better actually, because normally all the prices, let's be honest, with, with any holiday, the prices go up. Go yeah. up, don't they? Yeah. Uh, during the school holidays. So it's half term for many of you on this one. That's a robotic bar there, bionic bar. It's had a lovely experience. I bet it's a real laugh, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, you can make up any cocktail you want and everything. And do they always get it right? They always get it right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And after a couple, it's always good to go recording. No, no, no. Your head. <laughs> uh, I'd love to try like that. Uh, but you would never be bored on board Anthem of the Seas, uh, you know, and Royal Caribbean, they really, they are great for all generations, yeah. you know, where you often see extended families on board from the, uh, the grandkids to the grandparents, but there's a lot of fun next time. Having said that, you can always find a quiet area as well, yeah, can't you? Yeah, of course you can, of course you can, but that's it, 270 in the back, look at that. That's uh, incredible, actually. Yeah, that's it, day and night. Right, so let's have a look at the ports. I mean, the main thing here is the ship, the destination, uh, yeah. is, is a destination under itself, but again, with the ports of call, we'll run through these for you. So you're going to go from Southampton, take what you want on there, stay the night before in the holiday in Winchester for £99 per person. And then we go down into Le Havre. Le Havre, you can go down to Paris, you can go to Honfleur, you can go to Rouen, depending on where you want to go. But again, that's a nice destination to start with. Now, we want you to spend time on the ship because that is a big selling point here. So we've got another day at sea as you head then down to Bilbao in Spain. Now, Bilbao is famous for the Guggenheim Museum, which is stunning. Again, go and look at some of the architecture. You've got the flower dog statue as well, which is quite impressive to go and see. But again, probably many of you haven't been to Bilbao before. And again, the weather should be good at that time of year as well. Just nice to be out there stretching their legs before heading them back to the ship. We'll then go down into Gijón. You know, Gijón from there. Uh, we've got some great opportunities there to go and see um, uh, the Botanical Gardens, you've got Lorenzo Beach, you've got Ponent Beach as well. But again, it's got a nice walkway there. Again, this time of year, you know the weather's going to be not so hot, but it's still going to be nice and nice and warm down there in Spain. And again, a nice chance to see some beautiful architecture. And then another relaxing day at sea before back into Southampton. Well, let's just quickly run through what's included as well on this one. Don't forget, by the way, uh, you can also spend the night uh, prior to your cruise at the Holiday Inn in Winchester from just £99 per person. That would include obviously your, your board, your breakfast and your transfers. So you can book online and save even more on this. You'll get to experience things like the North Star, Ripcord, Flow Rider, roller skating, bumper cars, all of those at no extra cost. Uh, we mentioned you can uh, watch the award winning Western musical We Will Rock You and that's absolutely free of charge. And then also 
Uh, as I mentioned, you can add a night at the Holiday Inn in Winchester from just £99 per person. That will include breakfast, parking, and your port transfers as well. That is amazing for Very good. Turn, and I say, that ship is brilliant. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. brilliant. Glenn's absolute favourite. But some, I mean, I've been on 30 odd cruises, I've been very lucky, but I've uh, yet to experience a river cruise. But it's time for this week's River Cruise Spotlight. And it's this one here. Whoa, oh, now this is something I'd now love to. You'd like to do this one, yeah, wouldn't you? Yeah, this is a little bit different on here. So this is going, um, uh, we do, we work with a company called Discovery Egypt that do the uh, Null River Cruises on there. So again, we feature a lot in Europe, obviously, but this is going down the Null. So if you want to experience Egypt, and people like to see Egypt, but they want to be with a proper uh, tour company, the nice thing with this one is you're going to do a three-night pyramid stay at the start. So you'll get, of course, to oh, see the wow. Sphinx and the pyramid there. And then from there, you're going on to this stunning river cruise. Again, you've got your flight your transfers excursions you can upgrade to a drinks package on there as well um, and the prices on that one start from 1545 the ID on that one is 213963 now if that date doesn't suit you you can then look at other dates before and after Brilliant. they run throughout the year but as I said I think if you want to see Egypt that is the best way to do it and there's no single supplement as you mentioned as well Brilliant. so for any of our uh, single ladies and gents there is no single supplement but do be quick on that one because they do go very 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 fast actually but um, our next cruise is with Celestial Cruises. Oh, do, do you know, I, I love this itinerary. Yeah, yeah. I mean, One I of did, my favourites. I did the Med for a number of years. I love, I love the Rome and Florence and all that, but I must admit, Eastern Med is my favourite. I think yeah, it's I agree. so interesting. I agree. And Celestial, we started selling Celestial a couple of years ago. Um, people sort of like, who are they? So they are Greek, I've, I've probably got this wrong, but they are Greek based cruise line out there so uh, the captains tend to be mainly Greek the staff on board a lot of them are Greek and obviously um, first language on there of course is, is English but again this one is gonna if you want to experience this part of the world but really feel authentic when you're on board as well you've got a great opportunity to do this and this gives you such amazing places that we're taking you into um, and again you'll just see some of the places that we're going into here but the good thing with this is your drinks are included your tips are included we've got excursions on this one as well and again multiple dates going throughout the year and as I said I think people now are learning I, I have some clients that book with me regularly and they they tried this Santorini is going to be the best oh, port yes. of call in the world if you've never been there but they um, they booked quite a few cruises with me and they said we're going to try so still they came back and loved it don't get me wrong it's not six star deluxe but I'll tell you what it does what it is and it takes you around the Greek Isles and as I said they uh, really are they do Greek nights on board even your cocktails are ouzo based which can always be dangerous <laughs> but again as i said if you want to see this beautiful eastern med itinerary as i said you've got some you've got some standard ports of call on there and you've also got some places you've probably not visited as well so it's got a nice sort of tweak on this but as i said i love going over to that part and, of the world and, and as glenn mentioned it's nice that everything's included you know not just your food but your drinks your tips and you do get selected uh, shore excursions. They're really good ones. They well, are. They out. are. They're the ones that sometimes when you get these selected excursions, they're like a walking tour or something like that. These actually take in the main uh, tours that you want to do. So, as I said, really, really good. And as I said, if you've not tried them before, it's just something a little bit different. Well, um, let's just, first of all, just take you inside the ship a little bit more to give you an idea. So, but generally speaking, more smaller mid-sized ships. Yeah, smaller yeah. ship, much, much smaller than something like, for example, Anthem of the Seas, which is nice. And again, when you go into a lot of these ports of calls, you don't want massive ships going in there, so it's a nice way of doing it. And again, as I said, because you've got the Greek officers on board, they know the score out there, they know where to dock, they know where to tender. So, as I said, a really good opportunity to do it. But as I said, it's just a lovely way of getting around the Greek Isles. We can see the ship's really, really nice, you know. You can imagine a really friendly atmosphere. Yeah, thought, right? very good. And again, it's a lot more mixed now, as I said before, but you're getting a lot more Brits on there now as well, which is good. And there's the outside cabin, we've got junior suites as well. Uh, we've got, uh, say, a, a big variety, and we have got reduced single prices on yeah. this one as well. Selected dates. Selected dates, dates yeah. yeah. So uh, I know a lot of um, our regulars look out for those, so this one has got reduced single fares on selected dates as well. But what I want to talk about is the itinerary on this one, because it's yeah. beautiful. So this one we're going to fly over to Athens now. With this one we've given you a one night stay again. If you haven't done Athens before, depending on what time the flight's get in and out, I would probably extend an extra night. It's not that expensive to stay in the centre of Athens. No. I'd probably do an extra night if it was me. Um, and of course, there you've got a chance to go and see uh, the Pantheon. You go to the museum, which is interesting. I love going down into the placard, sitting in one of the tavernas there. They've got the grapes growing above you, and you just sit there, 
glass of ouzo, take in some Greek meze, and it's just a great way to start your cruise. Welcome to Greece. From there, then, we get on to the cruise, and then we're going to sail down to one of the great ports of call in the world. Again, if you've never been this, this is where um, Europe meets Asia, and this is going into Istanbul. Now, again, with this one, definitely you can see there, that is the Blue Mosque. That's what you need to go and see. But the great thing about this one, it's an overnight on board. So I would definitely go and do the Blue Mosque as an excursion. And then from there, go and get lost for the day. Go yeah. and enjoy Istanbul. It is um, a real sort of on the senses. It's something very, very different that you may not have been to before. But as I said, as you I, go across, you're going to start moving into Asia. So that's why it's a nice I, one. I, I, I loved it. I was oh, fascinated. it's great. It's very, very different again, yeah. but really good place. Amazing. But that Blue Mosque is definitely a place to go and visit. We then go into Kanakle. Now, Kanakle here, people say, well, where's that? So that is in Greece, but this one here, you've actually got the chance to go to the museum and go to Troy. So if you like Greek mythology, you like to learn about the Trojan statue and the horse, this is the place to go to. So you've got the trips to there. And again, I recommend that most of our viewers have never been there before. So that is a real, real must to go and see. And again, of course, loads more history in that part of the world. We then head from there down to Volos. So Volos, again, back on the mainland, and again, taking in some more of the Greek hospitality there. Beautiful small port area. Um, again, from this one, you've got the archaeological museum. You can also go to various beaches, but lovely little inlets. And the sailing into Volos is absolutely stunning. Yeah. Even on the way back out, sit there, you've got all-inclusive glass of champagne and just think, things could be worse. Um, from there we go into Heraklion. It used to be my home port of call when I was based over in the Eastern Med. And again, for this one, definitely recommend a trip. In the, the town area is nice. You can walk around the port area. I would probably get out and do one of the tours and over to Knossos, the Minoan um, uh, area there, which is Knossos Palace. And again, that's really interesting. You've got a lot of Greek mythology and I've got a Greek history on this particular uh, cruise. But again, that's a nice place to see. And that's where we used to dock and you can walk all the way around the port area into the town. But I would definitely recommend a trip into Knossos. And then from there, we're going to, I think, two of the best ports of call in the Eastern Med. So in the morning, we're going to go to Thera. We're going to go into Santorini. Now, I would have to put this alongside uh, probably going out under the Golden Gate Bridge and coming into Sydney Harbour with Santorini. Yeah, I'd agree. It is one of the best sailing, sailouts of the world. We don't dock there. You have to tend there. You're in the caldera, in the volcanic crater. That's where you're going to be docking. That's where they are there. Now, we dock into Fira. That's where you can go into, and that's great. But you want to try and get all the way over to Oya, and that's where your Blue Dome buildings are. That's where your postcards are there. And if you can, I would recommend... See, that's the Blue Dome buildings there. But I would recommend a trip to the Santos Winery as well. Again, you'll have got a lot of weddings there, but it's paradise. Stunning. And again, from there, to get down from the top, down to the bottom to collect the ship, you either go down on the cable car or the donkeys, and I'll recommend the cable car rather than donkeys. Uh, and then in the afternoon, we are going to then go into Mykonos. Now, again, Mykonos is where you dock there. It's a horseshoe or a half moon, and that's where you that, that's the port area there. So we dock along the side, and you walk all the way around, and you can go into the town. You've got the windmills. This is Shirley Valentine um, area. So. Again, I always say to people, when you go on holiday, maybe watch the films that were filmed there, because that gets you in the spirit, so maybe watch that. But again, these are the little chairs there, that's the little village. We used to sit there and have messe and just take in the views. You can go further afield, some great beaches, very trendy place to be now. But the good thing about that is Mykonos overnight. So it all goes on in Mykonos. If you haven't read the stories, read them, it's great. So whether you go out for a few drinks, whether you go clubbing, you can have some great time in Do you know, I've never, I've never been there, um, say, during the night. I've always oh, had, and it's I'd, great. Yeah, yeah I, it's I, great. I was, I've always felt a bit cheated. I've had to get back on the but ship. But it's great because o'clock. you can get off the ship in the evening. I wouldn't, have, I wouldn't stay on the ship that night. I know you've got all-inclusive, but you're on holiday. Get into town, have some food, take yeah. in the views, go to a couple of bars, you've got an overnight, and then make your way back in the evening. And then from there, back into Athens, and you're on your way home. Uh, well, virtually everything's included on this one. Uh, so let's just talk through... Uh, exactly what you're going to get uh, tonight. You will get all of your tips and all of your drinks and selected show excursions. We'll and go then, through those in a minute. Yeah, we've got those yes, yet. if you could, because they're really, really good. You've also got the uh, one night Athens hotels today. We could extend that, as we mentioned, reduced single supplements and selected April and May sailings. Just call for details, but you know, they're really, really good on this one. Open out of board in uh, Istanbul and Mykonos and return flights based on London. And uh, price-wise, we've got uh, various dates on this one. So starting in April, but we've got May, June, July, August and September as well. Not much more for outside 
and just sweets there as well. Drinks wise, it's actually really good. It is like your drinks, yeah. isn't it? So again, selected spirits, beers, and cocktails, non-alcoholics as well. So not everybody wants those. As I say, the uh, the cocktails on there are based on the ouzo. So just wear that in mind. Yes, yes. Um, but again, you've also got things like hot beverages, espresso tea. So all your drinks are included on there for you. Uh, and again, if you'd like to book tonight, give us a call, 0808 250 But you mentioned excursions, Glenn. Yeah, so, what so do we again, get? excursions are really good here, so really good. So this one's going to do a Bosporus cruise, which is fantastic. Europe into Asia, what better way to see that place? Then we go into the Knossos, which I mentioned before, in Crete. And then again, that trip over to Oya, which is just perched on the rim there. And that is where you're going to get the best picture of your holiday. Just so nice to have all of that, isn't it? All included. So we, um, we've still got... Two more cruises about to take four minutes. Time. We've got about four no, minutes. No, no, we've got plenty of <laughs> time. We're okay now. Uh, but it's uh, it's P and O next uh, with the Azura, and this is a forty night Spain, Monte Carlo, and Italy from Southampton. Yeah. £889, and that is for two weeks. Yeah, and again, wow. and again, this one here has got, I think, very limited space for three and four berths, but again, this would just cover your summer holidays as well, just literally get you back before the kids go back to school, but this is great. Now, P&O, quintessential British cruise line, probably the biggest uh, British cruise line out there. Obviously, we've got the Iona coming out mm -hmm. in a few months' time, which we're really looking very forward excited. to. But again, I think if you haven't done P&O before, they are such good value. All tips are included on there now for you as well. And I think if you want to take in the med, I think really for almost like first time cruisers as well, they love it as well. Being everything in sterling on board. Yeah. Uh, they do do drinks packages, you can add them on, but I'll be honest, most people just tend to pay for drinks as they go it's along on there. Pub because they're pub they? prices, you know, a beer's three fifty, a glass of wine's a fiver, a cup of coffee's two pounds. So okay. it's really, really good values. They've got the speciality chefs, they have a tag in with the food heroes on there as well. Um, and again, you can try some of their speciality restaurants. Ollie Smith is very, very popular on board. And again, a lot of the P&O crews who still have the Strictly Come Dancing. I haven't got them on this particular one, but as I said, they have that tie in with them as well. But the but shows again, are really good, aren't they? Really, really good. And again, they have the various dining options on there. Your shows are repeated every night. Um, and as I said, I think if you've never cruised before or you're still not sure what to do in the summer, this is a great opportunity to do that. Do you know, um, just looking at this clip of film right now, you, you can understand why the cruising industry in general has just grown and grown because there is so much to do on a cruise ship. It's not like it a is. boring land holiday. And I you? remember when Azura came out. I mean, it's been out probably 15 years now. It's still looking good. It's based over in the Caribbean for the winter. Comes back to the Med for the summer. Um, but again, I would try some of these speciality yeah. restaurants on there. Um, Epicurean's beautiful. Sindhu is the Indian restaurant on there. The Beach House. But again, as I said, all your other food, your buffet. Um, again, because it's British cruise, I know it's things like that. But like they do roast dinner on a Sunday. They do yeah. English sausage and bacon. I know it's things. Oh, we're trying to get away from the, you know, the UK, but people still like that on board the ship, and the staff are excellent. Yeah. But there's still loads of other choices as well, oh, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. No one's ever starved on a cruise ship. Uh, and there's, <laughs> and there's the uh, the theatre and the casino yeah. as well, um, and uh, the spa. Just thinking, yeah, I have managed to come off a cruise ship without putting on weight, though. Really? Yeah, once. Yeah, yeah. 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 A few years ago, though. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just, I just went to the gym every day. That's all, because it had a really good gym. I love the gym. They all yeah. go the first day, and then they never go back after that, do they? <laughs> <laughs> they get always have good intentions. But they're right, you know, they're right, there's always healthy options. Eight o'clock first say, morning, right. it's packed. Three <laughs> days in, it's like tumbleweed in there. But there are healthy food options always, aren't there? No. There's the bar and the and honestly the cruise ship's really good at catering for dietary requirements yeah, as well in are. general as well. Yeah. Right, Glenn, we better um, get to this itinerary. So from Southampton we've got a few days at sea. So this we? is a good one to have the holiday in Winchester because for 14 nights you get the parking included, yes. so definitely on that one. But this one's gonna go uh, Southampton down to Jib, down into uh, obviously a lot of talking points about Gibraltar at the moment and they've got your chin twins there in the Barbary Apes, but you've got a chance to go to the rock of Gibraltar there and have a look uh, and as I said, a nice place to start your cruise. And there I am, Glenn. There you are, look at that chin yeah, twin. There, there you go, look, matching. Um, then we've got a day at sea, and then we go down into Cagliari, down into Sardinia. Um, and again, a nice opportunity to go there. We have talked about Sardinia already today, but again, a beautiful part of the world. Uh, and again, some nice beach areas. You've got the cathedrals, archaeological museums. But if not, just chill out. You're on holiday and relax and take in the sun. We're then going to Naples, one of my favourite destinations. Obviously, we, we flew in there on the Morella cruise, but this one, you're going to spend the day there. I think this has got the best tours of anywhere in Europe. I think you've got Pompeii. Vesuvius, Capri, Ischia, um, as I said, you've got the Amalfi Coast, you've got Sorrento, so much to do. I would use this as a one-day exploration place and then come back here on a holiday later on because it's a great place to see. Then we go on to Rome, uh, Civitavecchia. We've already talked about Rome, but again, another one of the big gateways there for you to see. 
and then from there we go where the rich and famous play down into Monte Carlo. There's nowhere more famous in the Med down on the south of France. Of course, famous in May for the um, Grand Prix and the film festival is just along from there in Cannes. But again, um, actually, my uh, my wife's best friend's working in Monaco at the moment. She's a, a nanny out there, so my wife's really? off to see her in a couple of weeks' time. It's a fascinating place. It's a isn't really it? interesting place. It's a small principality. More Ferraris there than anywhere yeah, else in the world. Right. You've got the. Um, you just see them like lined yeah, up. Yeah, you've you? got the casino, you can go and have a flattering. You've got uh, the Cafe de Paris. You've got some beautiful places to go and see there, but it is stunning. Then we go to Barcelona. We spoke about Barcelona already this evening, but you're going to have a full day there. Then a day at sea, and then from there we go down into Cadiz. Uh, Cadiz in uh, Spain. And again, from there, again, the weather should still be nice down in the south of Spain. And you've got the cathedral, you've got the castle, you've got great walkways there. And I love the south of Spain. It's one of my favourite destinations. A couple of days at sea, and then back into Southampton. What a great place to see that Western Med. As yeah. I said, we featured the Eastern Med on the last one, and this is the Western Med. And no flying whatsoever either on that one, you know. Straight from Southampton and back to Southampton. Yeah, and we can still do on that um, some of those dates as well. I still think we can do um, deposit only on there at the moment. Brilliant. So um, no tipping required, and that's on all sailings now. Um, and also, if you book the select price, you get to choose from free on board spend, port parking, all UK coach transfers. You can also, and I think it's really worth doing this, as Glenn mentioned, Add on that night at the holiday. Especially in coming down from north or down yeah. from like, southwest or places like that, it's worth doing. Well, it takes the stress out of everything, but also you've got parking for two weeks then. Yeah. Um, and that's only £99 per person. That includes your breakfast, of course, parking and pot transfers. And we have got alternative itineraries. They just uh, differ slightly depending on departure dates. We've actually got quite a few departure dates, actually. So we've got May. But we've also got uh, June, July, August. I think that August price is brilliant. Really, really that good is, price. isn't it? And September now is a real prime time away to go because obviously the kids have gone back to school. If it's just you and your partner or you and your, you know, do, you don't want to have the kids there. That's good. Do you know you are really spawned with that August price? So that is ridiculous, really good. isn't it? You know, better amounts for two weeks. Two weeks, yeah. In August. So uh, yes, if you uh, want to get away in August, check out that twenty third of August date there as well. Right, we have got one final cruise for you. Um, Ah, this was lovely. This is uh, with Heute Gruten. Heute Gruten. <laughs> <laughs> Love Heute Gruten. Um, this is a really good item, isn't it? Yeah, so Heute uh, obviously we have a lot of cruise lines that go up to Norway and they tend to do seven day fjords cruising, but obviously, you know, they're, they're British cruise lines or whatever cruise lines go up there. Whereas Herta uh, has been sailing the fjords for about 120 years. They, and they, and they it's start, a real authentic experience. Yeah, they it? started off as postal vessels, but, you know, they've obviously developed over the years now. And, and these, these are probably the best way to do the fjords if yeah. you really want to get immersed. To do it properly. Yeah, immersed in the full culture and everything of the, the fjords on there. And again, with this one, you're going to make your all the way up to North Cape to Hollingsvar on here. Um, again, Heard to and sell throughout the year, so you can do northern lights cruises, you can do summer cruises, which this is based on. But again, you've got the experts on board. Most of the staff on there live in Norway, so they're experts. Whereas obviously the, the British cruise lines or other cruise lines have staff from all around the world. These are from Norway, so they're experts. They can give you as much information as they can, and this is a much, much more immersive cruise uh, making your uh, way up the, the coastline. My auntie cruised with them last year, and, and yeah, she, she loved the whole But again, experience. it's more involved. So you, again, I haven't got massive shows on there, you no, haven't no, got all the things that we've seen on some of the other ships, but again if you really want to, the, the shellfish and the seafood up there because it's so fresh is wonderful, um, but again as I said it, it's just a wonderful destination to see and it's really the itineraries that you're going to as well because they are fantastic places and as I said most of these itineraries are normally seven days, this one we're featuring today is 11 altogether. I am... Um I think what my, my, my auntie loved was, yeah, as you say, things like the, you know, she learned so much and the lectures were really good. She they said, are, as well. yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's more immersive and more cultural um, enriching than it would be just going on a seven day fields cruise from Southampton, for example. Food looks good though. Oh, it's good. And as yeah. I say, their shellfish and, and, and the prawns and, oh, and the shrimp, sorry, and everything is wonderful. I spent three years up in Norway, you know, Northern Lights and summer. Um, and it is a wonderful destination to go and see. Uh, we have got, by the way, you can see on the screen, London, Gatwick or Manchester flights in this one, because we are flying to Bergen, aren't we? So. Yeah, so Manchester flights on the 6th of April on that one for you, and it's Great. Gatwick for most of the other ones on there for you. Do you know, I'm feeling really hungry now. Yeah, I am. Are you? I've got a long like, journey home, I'm like that. Oh, there you go, look. <laughs> there you go, have one of them. <laughs> I'll, ju I'll just have the leg, my dear, please. <laughs>
<laughs> but um, you know, this really will be be a, a fabulous uh, Norwegian cruise and uh, a great price. Tonight. Yeah, we'll have nights. So this this one we're going to fly into Bergen. Yes, okay, mentioned. which is where you normally start most of your, your fields cruising. Normally as a port of call, but we're going to fly you in there. And then you see that coastline. We're going to go all, all the way, way up to the very top as far as we can possibly go. So we're going to start off with Alessund as we make our way up there. We've got the Atlantic Sea Park. We've got the Sundmore Museum. But again, if you've never done Norway before, this is just going to start to get you involved in the, the constant moving scenery that you're going to see over the next 11 days. We then make our way further up the coastline. We go up to Trondheim. And again, you've got the Stave Churches to go and visit. Um, again, it's, they're very small towns in comparison to Barcelona or Rome. But the sailing in in these ports of call are beautiful. Then we go up to Lofoten Islands, one of my favourite places up in the fjords. And again, I would say as you're sailing up through the Lofoten Islands or coming back through there, this is where you're going to get some of your best photography and uh, pictures. Beautiful, beautiful part of the world. Look at it. Look, oh. that's as you're sailing up there. Um, and again, as I said, you're going to go up there and then come back as well. So there are tours to do, full day, half day tours. But please try and see as much of that part of the world as you can. I love it there. Then we go across the Arctic Circle, we're going up into Tromso. Now, Tromso in the winter at the moment will be covered in snow and ice, but you've now actually gone through the Arctic Circle. Now, here they've got a big university, so it's a much, much bigger city. You can see the ski jump, so you can see, you know, they, they do the ski jumping. But again, I would recommend a trip here to there, on there, the Arctic Cathedral, you can just see. They normally do a recital in there, and it is stunning to go and see the recital. The acoustics in there are beautiful. Um, and again, as I said, it's a nice place to go and wonder, but that Arctic Cathedral is definitely worth going to see. Then we go up to North Cape to Honingsvar. Now, uh, again, people say, oh, we're going to do our own tours. You can't do it in this part of the world. You need to do the tours here. Buses will take you up from Honingsvar to North Cape. So Honingsvar, that is it. It's small little hamlets there. But it's about a 45-minute journey through the mountains there. You'll see the reindeer. And then we go up to North Cape. North Cape is where it's the most northerly part of Europe. Um, and that's again where you get a chance there. I mean, that's the scenery that you're going to be seeing. But North Cape, they have a centre there. That's where you'll see um, amazing views. And you can't go much further in Europe. It's the most northerly point, And you can tick that off the list. From there, we start heading back. We start going back down to Kirkness. Uh, again, as we come back down to... Oh, sorry, we go around to Kirkness there. And again, that's another destination. But again, you're not as far north. But again, another one of these small fishing villages. Again, a number of small tours they have there. Um, and again, these are pictures taken from the winter. But again, it'd be a little bit warmer, of course, in the summer. And then from there, we're coming back through Hammersfest and Tromso uh, as we head back down. And then again through the Lofoten Islands as we're heading back down the coast. Another day at sea, then back into Trondheim. And then from there, back into Bergen. So you can see wow, there, you've gone yeah. all the way up and all the way back. And if you want to tick that part of the world off and say, I've seen as much as I can with the locals, that is a great opportunity to do that. Well, we are... Just quickly want to run through what's included on this one. So we've actually got uh, an exclusive time limited offer on tonight's show. The price is really good. These really prices, good. people, these prices were low a little while ago and then they took the offer off and they doubled. They doubled yeah, yeah. in price. So you need to get in quickly on this that, one. I think this is one of the best we've ever had from Hoichi Gruton actually by far. Um, London Gatwick flights and transfers included. But we have got, if you would super quick this evening, Manchester flights, and they're available at no extra cost on the 6th of April date there as well. And this is the uh, the ultimate spring Norwegian coastal voyage, of course. It works out less than £82 per person per night. That is, that's excellent. Really good value, but yeah. as I said, once they go, and again, prices all the way through that, all the way through to the end of May are good. But as I said, once we lose that offer, those prices will increase rapidly. Yeah, and we've got, there say, various uh, rooms available, the polar inside, the polar outside, and the Arctic Superior as well. Right, we, um, we are nearly out of time, but we have got time to recap all of the cruises tonight. It's a really good show, isn't it's it? good show, yeah. very varied, isn't it? So we started with uh, one of my favourites, you know, uh, well, one of yours as well. Yeah. We, uh, we both love our Morella cruises. Uh, we love the value. Uh, we love, we say we love, I think I just love the fun as well with Merlin. Yeah, it's, it's, they're easy going ships. They they're, they're nice and comfortable. And, I've, yeah. and I've just met some really nice people on board as well. You know? And I say, because they've got the regional airports as well, you tend to get a mix of people on board. Yes, you do. But obviously predominantly British. You All know? British, yeah. yeah. Uh, so we've got um, a new price reduction site on the 6th of May. Uh, so 549 is your price. It's all inclusive. Those lovely words with tips included. Uh, flights based on London Luton, but obviously we can find you. I'm sure numerous regional flights just for supplement as well. Five four nine 
is the price on that amazing Religious Gavitu offer. Then we moved on to our Oceania deal, which again is five star plus luxury. And again, this is going out on the 10th of November 2021. You've got free Wi Fi, choice of free drinks, or $600 on board spend, or shore excursions. One night in Barbados, get another couple of days added on that. You might as well stay in Barbados. Return flights from the UK and private overseas transfers, and low cruise deposits by 50% on there when booked by the 31st of March 2020. ID 241104. You did mention that free UK airport lounge as well, didn't oh, you? Oh, yeah, the oh, free yes. airport lounge as well. Nice start to your, uh, your flights and your cruise there. Then we, uh, we had Glenn's favourite ship. And it is, of course, Anthem of the Seas. I mean, she's amazing. 639 is the price. This is for half term as well. 23rd of May. Um, and you'll get to experience all of those wonderful things like the North Star, the Ripcord, the Flow Rider, the roller skating, bump cars, all at no extra cost. What really impresses me is the chance to see We Will Rock You, the whole Western musical. The well, that's 100 show. quid. That's about yeah, 15 percent of your value of your cruise. Yeah, it works. Seriously. <laughs> then we moved on over into the Eastern Med. We moved on to Celestial. Now, this one's going to fly you over to Athens. And this is great because this has not only got your tips and its selected excursions, which we ran through. One night in Athens, you can extend that if you wanted to. Reduce single supplements on April and May sailings. Call the guys for details. Overnight on board in Istanbul and Mykonos, which would be brilliant, and then return flights from London. They're normally going to be London flights in and out of Athens, I'll let you know that. Uh, we can look at indirect one from Manchester, but I would always probably stick with London, plus the overseas transfers. Uh, then we had P&O, uh, that fantastic cruise with, of course, well, look at this. For the price of, uh, say, under £900, you've got a two-week Spain, Monte Carlo, and Italy cruise from Southampton. No tipping required. Uh, if you book select price, you get to choose some things like free on board spend, upon parking, or UK transfers. Uh, really worth looking at staying at the Holiday Inn in Winchester. You can do that the night before for £99 per person, and you've got parking for two weeks there and your port transfers. Then what do we have? And then we had the Hood Gruden uh, we on the coastline, exclusive limited offer, Gatwick flight, no Manchester supplement on the 6th of April 2020. It's a spring Norwegian coastal voyage for £82 per person and the ID 243253. And don't forget we had that really amazing hot pick. I mean, this is just ridiculous. It's from MSC. Um, two weeks, 22nd of April, you're going to get a balcony upgrade under £600. I don't think we've ever had anything like that. And then actually. finally, we had that Egypt one with the three nights at the pyramids. And then obviously, you've got a seven hour luxury cruise. Really good, that one going out in September. Multiple dates throughout the year. Give the guys a call. They're there till 10 o'clock tonight and back in at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. God. Well, that's it for this week. We are back next week. Of course, there's ever 8 o'clock with Planet Cruise. Are you back next week? No, it must be a week no, off. No, week off next week, and I'm back in the week after. Well, it's about lovely to see Pleasure, you. Mate. Cheers. Thank um, you. Thank you to everybody that's joined us. Uh, we love our, our Tuesday evenings, don't we? We do, yeah. So take we'll them around the world. <laughs> we'll see you. We'll see you next week, same time, same see place, you, 8 p.m. with Planet Cruise. Take care. Hiya! Thanks for watching the video. Now, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe below. Remember to click that bell to get all notifications. And if you're looking for more fantastic travel video content, like this. Click on the videos to the right-hand side it'll be really informative. Or click on the Planet logo to the left to go to our website for some fantastic deals. Keep cruising.